Hello students, welcome to Infinity Learn Neat YouTube channel. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today I am going to discuss about thermodynamic second law, spontaneity and Gibbs free energy. So this particular topic is going to be very important for NEET examinations where you can see one question that is 4 marks from the NEET examination. Within 10 minutes we are going to see what is the second law of thermodynamic and in terms of a spontaneity and Gibbs free energy. So let us see this thermodynamics energy entropy and second law of thermodynamics here you can see the particles which are free in state they are random in state and these particle as you can see they are compactly present i just want to say here they are arranged organized and compact here they are arranged free and disordered so we need to learn about the concept of entropy based on this uh, disorganized pattern of the particles in the matter. So, entropy is nothing but the degree of disorderness. So, that is I want to say a measurement of degree of randomness of the energy in the system. The lower the entropy more is the organized and less is the entropy is less random it is and vice versa. You can see here it is compact and here it is more free. So, degree of randomness is more and entropy is more. You can say high entropy here degree of randomness is less and entropy is less. It is a nothing but entropy and entropy is a measure of degree of randomness or degree of free freedom of a system. It is denoted by S and it is a state function and it is an extensive property and absolute value of the entropy you cannot measure it rather you can measure the change in entropy and entropy substance is lowest in a crystalline state and highest in its vapor state or a gas state. You can also see the order of entropy is given gas of the entropy is greater than liquid entropy is greater than solid entropy and also you can see the difference between enthalpy and entropy. Enthalpy is a state function and entropy is also a state function, but enthalpy is a heat quantity of a system at constant pressure and it is denoted by H. Whereas entropy is the degree of randomness of the system and it is de denoted by S. And you can see the second law of thermodynamics says during a process entropy of the universe increases. So, I mean to say entropy of the system plus entropy of the surroundings should be greater than 0. It should always increase during a process. So, a liquid goes into the vapor state, its entropy is increased and also you can see the entropy change between any two substances of the same substances at equilibrium delta S is equal to heat Q reversible upon temperature. And I want to say if the process occurs with a change in temperature then the cal to calculate the entropy change you are going to get delta S is equal to sum of the dQ reversible Q reversible upon temperature T. And you can also say it is a very very important point and absorption of heat by the system leads to the increase in the kinetic energy as increase in the kinetic energy increases entropy. And each and every point makes a sense it can give a single question or single option from the theory based physical chemistry topics. Absorption of heat at low temperature develops more disorder than at high temperature. I just want to say here, let us say a system, it is changing from 0 to 25 degrees centigrade and the delta S is going to be S1. The same system is changing from 10 degree centigrade to 25 degree centigrade and uh, entropy change is delta S2. So, the quantity of delta S1 and delta S2, the magnitude of delta S1 is greater than delta S2. That I want to say here, the absorption of heat at low temperature develops more disorder. So, entropy is going to be more based on this. You can see the melting 
from the solid and the gas and the liquid the change in entropy is extensively is increasing and also you can see second law of thermodynamics in that unit of entropy is dou kelvin inverse and um, for a spontaneous process delta s is equal to positive and for a non spontaneous process delta s is going to be negative so randomness increases spontaneity is there randomness decreases inclined for non spontaneity and at equilibrium it is supposed to be zero i mean to say delta s total universe is equal delta system plus surrounding should be equal to zero and i want to say entropy change in the reversibility so when a system changes make a energy transaction with the surroundings so the entropy change of the system is equal to the minus of entropy change in the surroundings and vice versa and energy is transferred from here to here or from here to here entropy loss in one system is equal to entropy gain in the surroundings or entropy loss from the system is equal to entropy gain in the system like that so at equilibrium system plus surroundings equal to zero for irreversible process system plus surroundings should be greater than zero that's what i want to say second law of thermodynamics so in that for in isothermal reversible expansion of a gas work irreversible will be less than that work reversible and heat irreversible also less than that of heat reversible and as i just want to say magnitude of the work irreversible should be less than magnitude of the work reversible so always we know fundamentally work done in a reversible process is maximum and say that reversible heat is greater than reversible heat delta s system is equal to q reversible by time and this is your second law of thermodynamics for uh, surroundings is equal to minus q reversible by t temperature so that delta s system plus delta s surrounding should be greater than zero for an irreversible process that's what i want to say the second law of thermodynamics and you can see, see spontaneous process criteria of spontaneity a spontaneous process is a process that takes place by itself say example here a stone is rolling down the hill so you need not how to do work on it so it comes by itself that is what you call it as a process is a spontaneous if you talk about uh, non spontaneous process the process which do not takes by itself is called non spontaneous process so the reverse process of the flow of water up the hill it's not spontaneous you have to do external work for that and flow of heat from a colder body to hotter body heat always moves from the hotter body to colder body but the reverse is not possible and uh, same thing you can see rolling down a stone is a spontaneous process and climbing up is a non spontaneous process so i just want to say what is the criteria of a spontaneity so we can see various examples the criteria of spontaneity spontaneity mainly develops on two processes what are the two conditions first condition tendency to have the minimum energy and a tendency to have the maximum randomness so these two parameters together will play so when these two parameters together will play tendency to have minimum energy tendency to have maximum randomness from there you have to say minimum energy decides the enthalpy and the randomness decides the entropy and these two variables are related to one more variable that is called gibbs free energy change what is this gibbs free energy change this is the energy actually used for the work done of a system and it is given as gibbs free energy it measures the capacity to do useful work to decrease the value of a system whose value is decreasing is actually used for the work done that is given as relation between gibbs free energy enthalpy temperature and entropy are given as g is equal to h minus tl and in this delta g system is equal to enthalpy of system minus 
T entropy of the system plus S delta S of the system and based on that delta G system is equal to delta H system minus T delta S system. This is what you can say Gibbs Helmholtz equation and you can also say changes this much. This equation is called as Gibbs Helmholtz equation. We can have direct questions based on this Gibbs Helmholtz equation for any kind of competitive examination especially from this neat examination from the NCRT line by line. I just want to give you how to apply this G, delta G values for this process. You can see Gibbs Helmholtz equation says delta G is change in Gibbs free energy delta H is enthalpy change this could be negative for exothermic process positive for endothermic process and T is the absolute temperature and delta S change in entropy and you can see see if delta S total is a positive delta system is a negative then the process is a spontaneous and if delta S total is a negative delta S G system is a positive the process is non spontaneous and also if these values are zero you can say the system is said to be at equilibrium and the criteria of spontaneity can be given as a super tabular form that I want to show you and here you can see enthalpy change entropy change and Gibbs free energy change and the comment description about the nature of the reaction here delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S if this value is negative and this value is positive and this value is going to be what so like that the magnitude of the positive and negative combinations are given and a comment is written based on that just simple theory based questions you can see from the neat examination especially from the thermodynamics and if delta H is negative delta S is a positive delta G is going to be negative so that the process is going to be spontaneous at all temperature at any cases and if delta H is negative and delta S is negative delta G is going to be a negative this is possible spontaneous only at low temperature and also you can see delta H is negative and delta S is negative delta G is going to be positive and this is going to be never non spontaneous at high temperature. So it is a non spontaneous at high temperature and positive delta H is a negative positive delta S and delta G is going to be negative if at all only at high temperature the process is going to be spontaneous like that simply you can apply Gibbs Helmholtz equation and you can check the criteria of spontaneity and also see delta H is a positive delta S is going to be negative in that case delta G is going to be positive non spontaneous at all temperatures. So first case spontaneous at all temperatures last case non spontaneous at all temperatures. So this is the criteria of spontaneity based on this table definitely you can grab one question from the neat examination and also let's check a couple of questions before we end up the session and at equilibrium x plus y reversibly gives rise to w plus z delta h is positive and is a spontaneous in the forward direction then the corresponding sign of the delta g and delta s should be respectively it is given as negative and positive and the delta G is supposed to be negative then only the process is going to be spontaneous delta S is positive then only the process is going to be spontaneous you know and also you can see although dissolution of ammonium chloride in water is endothermic process that's the reason why when ammonium chloride is dissolved in the water the container is going to be cool in nature because the process is going to be endothermic surrounding heat go into the system so surrounding experiences coolness and you can see it spontaneous because delta s is positive delta s is positive and delta h is less than t 
delta s that is going to be the answer for this question at last for the process water which is ice and is converted into h2o liquid and 273 kelvin means it is going to be 0 degree centigrade one atmosphere at this condition there will be an equilibrium between these two and which of the following is true of course there is an equilibrium there should be in gibbs free energy change water is equal to gibbs free energy change of the ice so i just want to say option 1 is the correct answer for this question and uh, children today we discuss about the second law of thermodynamics entropy and the spontaneity connected with the uh, gibbs free energy change and gibbs helmholtz equation and based on this gibbs helmholtz equation a tabular form is also discussed based on that you will be getting a straight away direct question from the neat examination paper and study well and if you have any doubts you please mention in the comment box and please like the session share with your friends and subscribe to infinity learn neat channel thank you very much thank you